Welcome to C Sharp in 5 minutes. Please make sure to watch it all the way through so you do not miss out on any crucial information. What are data types? Data types are different types of data, pretty self explanatory, that however does not explain it too well. In C Sharp, there are different types of data that you can store in a variable. There are value types, which I will be focusing on in this video, reference types, which does not contain the actual data stored in a variable, but it contains the reference to a variable, object type, Dynamic type, which lets you store any type of value, type checking for these takes place at runtime. More on that in another video called runtime. String type and pointer type. I've covered all the other data types that I will not cover in this video and other videos more thoroughly. Value type variables can be assigned a value directly. A few examples of value types are int, char, and float, which stores numbers, alphabets, and float point numbers. Respectively, when you declare an int type, the system allocates memory to store the value. More on that in my other video, learn C sharp in 5 minutes, variables. When do we use value types? Well, that's pretty easy. We use them whenever we're going to declare a value type variable. So for instance, if I were to store a number, let's say, when the year C sharp was created, so 2000, I would simply create a value type of int, name it here, and assign it 2000. How do we use data types and what data types are there? Well, we have bool, which stores true or false, and is false by default. By default, I mean that it's not assigned a value yet. So if I were to do this, av uh, available, that would store false by default, because it's not assigned a value yet. We're actually going to put false here just for the sake of it. We have byte, which is a 8-bit unsigned int. Unsigned means that it can only be a positive number. And a byte ranges anywhere from 0 to 255 and is 0 by default. So byte, byte equals let's do 235. Perfect. We also have char, oops, which can store a character. So you define it by putting single quotes around the character. So just like that. And of course int, which is a whole number. So int, let's do year equals 2000. That's 200, 20,000, there we go. So if we're to put these into use, let's do console.write line. Let's do available, control C, control V. And let's do a byte character and year and if I do console.read line you can see that it prints out everything here now for the assignment of this video I want you to look up the value types float decimal and double and try to create a small application that works as an ATM where you can add to a number and you can withdraw and then it should print out everything that's it for this video, I hope it was educational, and I'll see you in the next one.